Greetings, human. Today, I will talk to you about a... Oh, not again. S sorry, wait. Has this problem ever happened to you? You want to update your application, but your users just keep saying no, using the old versions instead, creating all kinds of compatibility problems. Well then, you might want to hear about Tezos. On Eat the Blocks, we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. Tezos is a blockchain platform for smart contracts and dApps, similar to Ethereum or Polkadot, but with one key difference, self-amendment. This allows continuous development of an application without having to fork. Notable examples of forks are Ethereum, which split from Ethereum Classic and Bitcoin Cash, which split from Bitcoin. On the more technical side, apps on Tezos are programmed with a dedicated language, Michelson, which is a very low-level language, as in close to machine. And, um, well, if you can decipher it, good for you. But for the rest of us more used to normal programming languages, fear not. For example, you can use Python with a library SmartPy. Smart contract programming with SmartPy is very similar to regular object-oriented programming on Python. And if you're also familiar with Solidity, you should have no problem picking it up. Code written with SmartPy is specifically made to be converted into Michelson code. And if you don't know Python either, well, first of all you should, it's so easy it almost feels criminal, you would have other libraries to choose from for higher level programming, such as Lego, Indico, and Archetype. There are also libraries to connect Tezos to your code from other languages, like Sotas for JavaScript and Takito for TypeScript. But back to the basics. You may see some videos describing Tezos' consensus algorithm as delicated proof of stake, which is misleading. The algorithm is commonly described as liquid proof of stake. In most proof of stake cryptos, you can stake or more accurately delegate your tokens to a miner and get rewards as a result. However, this may lock you away from using those tokens and need to delay to unstake them and get full access again. On a liquid proof of stake, the unstaking process is instant. Do you think Tezos is a worthy opponent for other platforms like Ethereum? Let us know in the comments. Have a great day!